Greetings, divine beings, divine gods, and goddesses. Life is good. This is Devontae Shirt from What the 10K Life. You know that. Okay. So, today, it's, it's been charged. I'm charged. I, I, you can tell I'm charged. You can just see it. But, today I want to talk about sexual energy. So, what the sex, you know? Because this is the most misunderstood concept in our lives. 99% of people are using their sexual energy in the wrong way. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna teach you about you know, what is sexual energy. So sexual energy is life energy. Sexual energy is creation creative energy and creation is life. So sexual energy is your life force. It's your vitality in your body. Um, the older you become when you age you die, you know, really is because your sexual energy has been extinguished. Your life force has been extinguished. Um, the ancients used to live for thousands of years because they knew how to keep their sexual energy charged. So basically sexual energy is the electrical charge in your body. You can't move your hand without the electrical charge or chi charge in your body. This is what allows you to think. This is what allow you to move. This is the energy. Everything is energy. So that basic fundamental energy is sexual energy. So most of our sexual energy is trapped in the root chakra. And that is the lowest, densest form that sexual energy can be transformed, um, well, can be contained in. So we have everything around us. You know, when you think about something, you're using your sexual energy and telling it what to do. So you're sending sexual energy to the thought. And it makes it attractive. It's how you attract the reality with your thoughts. You're sending your sexual energy into it. But when most people, they can't focus or they, you know, they don't have enough um, sexual energy to even send in their thoughts. So their mind is just rambling and running all around um, with random thoughts. So they're attracting this chaos reality. But when you are able to maintain your sexual energy, you know, and stop it from being siphoned, then you're able to focus long enough on one particular thought to make that thought so attractive and filled with so much sexual energy that it has to manifest. Remember, sexual energy is creative energy. If you don't have any sexual energy, you can't really create nothing that you want. Other people be using your sexual energy to create the reality they want, but it's not your reality that you want to create. So the first thing is sexual energy is in you. So we all have sexual energy. If you if you weren't alive, if you if you're alive, you have sexual energy in you. The problem is how much and how drained we are. So when you watch TV, basically this is the most drainer ever. Um, your sexual energy is being stirred, whether you know it or not, just in small amounts. When your sexual energy is stirred, whatever you're thinking about becomes stronger. You know that's why sexual thought is the strongest thought. Just think about something sexually and you'll see you get a bodily reaction immediately, you know So sexual energy is the strongest energy in this physical world um, So when you're watching TV, they show these sexy commercials, you know, it's all to do with sex um, to, to stir that sexual energy in you and to make you think about the commercial So what you're doing is you're attracting their product into your life at an intense rate, you know, and you know, you watch reality shows, drama shows, whatever you're watching. The goal is to stir sexual energy. It has to be sexy. They pick the sexiest stars in movies for this reason. It's just all based on sex. If I can stir the sexual energy in you, I can get you to do anything. And my mentor, you know, Jonathan Amaret, told me this. If you can stir the sexual energy in someone, you can get them to do whatever you want them to do. Because that's how powerful that energy is. That's how you program someone on the deepest subliminal level through sex so everybody's stirring their sexual energy you got ads you got uh, commercials you got uh, Louis Vuitton and all this they're all just stirring sexual energy and when they stir their sexual energy your thought process goes to it and attracts that remember your sexual energy is attractive energy it's, it's the feminine energy that's within you uh, it's the uh, when you think that's masculine. You're telling the sexual energy what to do. You're telling the sexual energy how to form and what you want to attract. So the reason many people don't attract the lifestyle they want to attract is because they have a low amount of sexual energy. So their thought, when they use their masculine, 
um, it's a very weak masculine. So in order to have a strong masculine, you must have a strong feminine, which means you must have a lot of energy in you. Energy is feminine. You must have a lot of feminine energy in you. You must have a lot of sexual energy in you. So to stop this sexual energy from being drained, you need to maintain your focus on whatever you want to do. And the main thing that drains sexual energy in men is ejaculation um, and lustful thoughts. Because when you see this girl and you think of her lustfully, first you already stirred your sexual energy, right? And then you sent it to the fantasy of this female or how you would have her in bed or whatever. And just in that instance, you just drained some of your sexual energy. Instead, it could have went towards some creative project or, or, you know, whatever. You know, it could have enhanced your life. Instead, it drains your life because you're stuck in the fantasy. So that male's ejaculation you might say whoa every time i have sex i ejaculate it must be a reason so okay orgasm and ejaculation although they happen simultaneously for most healthy adult males are not one and the same ejaculation means the semen comes out orgasm means you feel this blissful experience of, of pleasure and a heightened sense of chi energy you know it's pulsating Men usually do them at the same time, so they deplete their sexual energy. They build it during sex, they stir it up, and they get so intense that they have to release it. Now, when you learn Tantra, you learn to build this energy up and not release it. You learn to orgasm internally, which turns it into a full body orgasm, which allows you to have sex the proper way without being drained. Because notice, after you have sex with a female, um, a goddess, that's truly what they are. Uh, after you have sex with a goddess, you ejaculate and they want to cuddle. They still have energy. Females don't lose energy during sex or ejaculation um, or orgasm. So after you have sex, you're depleted of your sexual energy. And your sexual energy makes you attractive to her and makes you attracted to her. It makes you attractive from her and you attract it to her. So you're no longer really attracted to her. So you just fall asleep and go to sleep. You have no more energy. You depleted your energy. But since she hasn't depleted her energy, she's like, you know, she's ready for cuddling. She's ready, you know, for kissing, you know, for, you know, for that, the, the final makeup. But you don't have any more energy because you depleted it all. And then you get lazy, lethargic, and, you know, you don't really want to do anything. You just want to lay in the bed all day. Your mind becomes this foggy cloud because that's what it does. She allows you to focus. If you have a high amount of chi you can focus low amount of chi scattered thoughts so when you're chi um for men you have to learn this technique of separating the ejaculation and the orgasm um my mentor teaches that in the class um science of sex intimacy and relationship thought mechanics you can go there and you can learn really the science and how to actually do it because i'm not really going to teach it i'm just tell you let you know how you know guard your sexual energy so your food your food is energy. It's basically sexual energy of a plant, you know, sexual energy of the earth, or sexual energy of if that dead, if that animal is dead, its sexual energy has left. That's why it's dead. So you're eating something with no sexual energy and it's actually draining your energy instead of replenishing. So when you eat foods that are alive, you're eating their sexual energy. So your skin begins to glow. You begin to feel energetic and alive. You know, that's you're eating sexual energy. You're replenishing the chi in your body. When you're out in the sun, you're getting the sexual energy from the sun the electrons remember the electrons are the only thing that you gain from food it's the only thing you gain from walking in the grass you're absorbing the electrons from the grass you're absorbing electrons from the sun when it you know beams light onto you you're absorbing the electrons from the air when you do qigong or deep breathing exercises so when you breathe in general but most people breathe real shallow so they only absorb a little minimal amount of chi because they're in a state of stress a state of stress so when you start deep breathing, you start absorbing a lot of chi, a lot of energy, and the stress goes away. So that that's one way. Well, that's a lot of ways. And water, also, if it has an electrical charge. Dr. Sabi was able to heal people with a lot of his water because the water he got is spring water. And it had a very high electrical charge, which is electrons or sexual energy. Um Energy, water without sexual energy is usually dead water. So the water we buy in the store, even if it's spring water, is usually dead water. Because the electron only stays in that water for 48 hours. 
after it leaves the source. So after 24 hours, there's half the sexual energy in that water. After 48 hours, all the sexual energy is left that water and you basically have dead water. Um, it does keep you hydrated, but it doesn't charge you or add to your chi or add to vitality. You know, it just kind of just runs through your body, and, you know, keep you a little hydrated, but it doesn't add. So that's another way. We, we, we're constantly gaining this energy, but we're constantly unaware of where we're sending this energy. Every thought you have, remember, your only, their only true currency is your sexual energy. The sexual energy is the energy that attracts women, if you're a male, um, males, if you're a female, and if you're bisexual, you know, it's just different ways or whatever. But generally, this energy attracts the opposite sex or the opposite energetic being. So if you're a masculine energy, it attracts the feminine. If you're a feminine, have more feminine energy in you, it attracts the masculine energy out of people. So this sexual energy, it does that. And, you know, in order, let me, let me get my train of thoughts together. So the sexual energy does that. So the same sexual energy that attracts women or males to you is the same sexual energy that attracts money to you and it also attracts um, business opportunities it attracts healthy relationships it attracts everything remember sexual energy is the attractive energy you know that's 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 what it does it's attractive the feminine is also attractive energy it reels in so if you have a lot of sexual energy you become more feminine you and you reel stuff in instead of having to be outside and going to get stuff masculine seeks feminine attract you want to become a master of the law of attraction and attract things to you you have to have a lot of energy into inside of you and a lot of magnetic energy inside you so this energy allows you to attract all of that so you want to build it up um, until you learn tantra you don't want to really have sex because you go or well, especially for males because you're usually going to be depleting this energy that is going to attract to you an empire so sex can either build an empire or destroy an empire. And once you build the sexual energy up enough, your consciousness escapes from the root chakra. 99 what well, 90% of people live in the root chakra, which is survival. You know, I gotta survive, you know. Um, stuff like that. Um, and then you get out of survival and fear, and it goes to creativity, which is the next chakra. Then it goes to self-love, empowerment, and confidence. And you know happy emotions which is the solar plexus chakra then it goes to love and connecting it to connectedness to all things which is including animals insects you see yourself in everything and thus you don't want to harm anything um and you know that that keeps you connected and you know just having the healthiest relationships then the energy goes to the throat chakra which allows you to speak divine wisdom and download divine wisdom um allows you to speak truth you know i would say absolute truth from your own perception you know and then it goes from uh then it goes to the third eye chakra which allows you to be able to perceive lucid dream you know spirituality and you know all this amazing psychic powers that people so desire this is how you obtain it you have to first transfer your sexual energy from a lower form into spiritual energy that's all alchemy is that's all sexual tantra is it's transforming sexuality from the physical to the spiritual now Tantra uses sex as the vehicle to do that. Remember, your natural state is an orgasm. You were created out of an orgasm. It's remember, sexual energy is creative energy. So the heightened climax of sexual energy is an orgasm. So when that happens, creation happens. So when that happened, you were created. So your natural state is what you were created out of. So your natural state is an orgasm. You're trying to everything you do you're trying to get back to your natural state you're trying to get this orgasmic feeling you only get into small amounts during dopamine because you don't know that how to raise it up and you know experience that energy all day every day you know pulsating through you you don't know how to build your chi up so you settle for weed drugs alcohol to get this little pseudo effect of a high and you can have that high all the time off your own sexual energy so you build it you build that sexual energy up and there's going to be a lot of things being attracted to you. You're just going to want you're going to want to you know these are the temptations that Jesus faces. Jesus, in order to activate your DNA, in order to reach higher levels of spirituality, you have to have a lot of sexual energy. The most sexual energized people are the most successful people. Um, 
and that was said by Osho. So this whole concept of you know life life is sex life is sexual energy and the more sexual energy you have the more life you experience the more li greater life becomes you know you don't become this you know this pre depressed person and depleted or whatever that means you have a low amount of sexual energy alcohol suppresses your sexual energy weed does something else to your sexual energy um it's not not really a positive effect either um caffeine oh really just detrimental to your sexual energy Porn, the reason why they have porn out, porn makes up 80% of the internet and it's free. The reason they have that is because it's the number one drainer of sexual energy. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, um, all the spiritual masters and athletes, you know, the, the top athletes all know about the sexual energy. And they know that you're not able to reach this amount of success unless you have a lot of sexual energy. So Steve Jobs would ejaculate with his wife or whatever. He would tell her, you know, I need to preserve my energy to build the build wealth. Um, Bill Gates, uh, you know, all these all these spiritual wealthy people and all these materially wealthy people, they know that you need sexual energy to build that. So women don't lose she during sex you know it's just, it's just it's, it's a great thing about a woman you know so that's why she's always the attractive person she has all this sexual energy she does lose chi during a period so she needs more meditation she needs to walk more in the grass to absorb sun she needs to be more in nature she needs to drink more water more chi charged water spring water which you actually go to the source of the spring you you know bring your bottle and get it and that's the only way um, or you get a Kangen machine, which electrically charges the water, you know, by that. So, yeah, men, we don't have a period, but we are more prone to sexual arousal than women. But a man, anything he sees, you know, somebody can send him a picture of, you know, a vagina or, you know, some boobs. He don't care who it is. He's going to get aroused. A woman, you can send her a picture of, you know, whatever. She's going to be like, ew, you know, I don't, I don't want that. A woman has has a connection with you. So she has more control over her sexual arousal than the men. So men are constantly being drained of their chi energy throughout life. You know, it's more easier for them, for them to be drained than women. Women only get drained, you know, during, you know, their period. So with a man, he has to learn to gain control over his sexual desire and not lust after all these women, you know, just their physical bodies. You know, when your when your energy raises, you be able to perceive beyond the physical. You be, begin to see the energy behind this person. Whoa, is that an attractive energy that I want to, you know, tangle myself with or I want to get involved with? She has a nice body. She's pretty. But whoa, the energy behind that is just deadly. If I intertwine my sexual energy with her energy i'm gonna absorb all her karma and all her you know everything she's dealing with i don't want that so you become more selective you know you become more choosy and and you know with your sexual energy so build your sexual energy up and focus your thoughts on what you want to manifest and they'll manifest um i hope this video has been you know very helpful for you if it has and you learned something you know subscribe share like do what you want to do this is your world i love you regardless you guys have a blessed day